Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's time to take a look at one of the most amazing figures Hot Toys have ever produced. It's over 10 years old. It's been in the collection that long and it's still holding up. This is the Hot Toys 1-6 scale Christopher Reeve Superman figure. Drop a like on the video, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at DeanKnight333. I've already done multiple videos on this figure, but I just checked on my channel and I think the last time I took a really good look at this was nine years ago and cameras have improved a lot there and I've got a much better camera now so this can really do the Superman figure justice I'm using the Canon 90D uh, or is it D90? I always forget which way around that is but I love my Canon camera and that's what I use to film all my videos these days and it's time that Christopher Reeve Superman got the treatment I love the boots and the way they sculpted those wrinkles around the ankle area but at the front of the boot it just looks really nice Materials holding up really well. I've had no troubles with the belt and also no cracks in my symbol for hope. I have seen folks in various, uh, not very often, very rare to be honest, but I'm not saying it happens very rarely, but it's very rare that I ever see a post, uh, post on social media of people with cracked symbols on the chest. I can understand how it would happen, but I'm in the UK, so temperature I mean right now it's humid because it's summertime and it's a sticky night but yeah so far things holding up really well there's a subtle wire in his cape and a really good head sculpt but I would I mean there's absolutely no complaints with this paint job or the sculpt even considering how old it is now I would be so curious to see if it would be improved upon with a newer figure not necessarily you know, going to be better than this one, but you would imagine that if Hot Toys went back and did Christopher Reeve again now, it would be, you know, improved skin tones and details and all that stuff, but this is really one of those perfect figures as far as I'm concerned. I mean, the light's doing all kinds of stuff to the sculpt at the moment. I got one light pointing up at his face from below to catch the eyes. We got the lights on the ceiling and the room pointing down on him, and uh, these two desk lights on either side. So he's nicely lit up, but I just absolutely love the piece. I think the proportions are really good. I'll change the pose for you now, but he is very eye-catching. The colors are beautiful, and it's just so iconic. I know a lot of people out there would want to get the Christopher Reeve Superman figure, but he's long sold out, I guess, and very expensive on the secondary market. But as you can see, He's absolutely amazing when he's just kind of hovering like this. It just commands attention. Beautiful look at the cape blowing in the wind. It's always a really cool effect when you do a pose like this with Superman, especially Christopher Reeve. Because it just brings back those memories at the end of the movies where he'd fly past the screen and give you a little wave and a smile or maybe even a wink, depending on how the man was feeling at the time. Absolutely amazing. And all these years later, still holding the poses, no loose joints. It's a really good one here. And that just looks epic. Kind of specifically put it in this position because the black stand kind of blending in with the black uh, background. It's not so obvious. But that is such a cool effect.
both arms forward now, full speed, full intensity. I definitely think it's one of Hot Toys best, I mean that's a long long list because they have done some phenomenal stuff, too many to list, you know more strikes than misses. Just get some footage of the figure on the rotating base here. Standing up straight pose. Really good body that they've chosen here. It might be a little bit too buff for Christopher Reeve Superman, but it does the job pretty well. Yeah, I just want to get a nice close up on the head sculpt here. Beautiful paintwork on those eyes. They're so blue, they really cut through. Really great detail on the skin. Amazing detail on the sculpt itself. The hair is done just perfectly. There might be some dust embedded in the crevices of the hair over the years, folks, but I've given him a little brush over before I started filming. But I think it's a pretty much a perfect likeness. I'm no expert on Christopher Reeve's face, but it certainly looks like him to me. Here he is standing next to a Hot Toys Michael Keaton Batman figure and that looks so bloody epic, it's amazing. It is nice to look at them together again like this on the desk. And the way the light's hitting Batman looks really cinematic. But that's how they look side by side, they're not standing on a base or anything, they're just standing on the desk. And here is the Hot Toys Superman next to two more recently released figures, like the most recent Dark Knight trilogy, Dark Knight suit figure. He's taller than the ones that came before him. But if you look at the shoulders, Superman seems to be a little bit taller still, even with Batman's armor on. It does look like the Christopher Reeve figure is a little bit taller. So, I'm not sure of everyone's exact height, folks. You can let me know in the comments if that's accurate, but it looks pretty accurate to me. Then you've got the pretty recently released Mando Chrome version from Season 2. And he is also just a little bit shorter than Christopher Reeve Superman. So, is it necessary for them to go back and use a taller body to make him bigger? I'm really not sure. I mean, gut instinct says not really, no. I mean, there's no reason to go back and do this again because this is already such a fantastic figure. But you never know, it's going to be an expensive one to do again, you know, getting the license and all the rights and that stuff. But I think he measures up well with these more recently released figures, what do you think?
saw this pole that came with the Venom Let There Be Carnage figure and I was thinking I'm never going to use that with Venom so if I heat it up and bend it and then make it look like Superman is bending the the iron bar here or whatever that would be pretty cool for a display may do that in the future but that's it folks really I just wanted to take a look back at wow that looks amazing right there his eyes catching the light the shadows kind of falling in the right places on the face and the neck the light bouncing off his shiny black hair slight bit of movement in the cape that is just and the muscles coming through under the suit you know for a figure that's as old as this this would still easily make it into a top 10 but yeah let me know what you think folks please drop a like on the video share it around and subscribe if you haven't done already check me out on instagram i'll put up some pictures from this session on there instagram's dean knight free 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 and i hope you're all doing well thank you for all the friendship and support on the channel we'll see you soon take it easy bye bye i've tried so hard to get the crossed arm pose i've actually had to detach that hand it's just sitting there and this this arm doesn't actually have a hand in there anymore but from certain angles you can kind of get away with it if you move around quick enough yeah looks pretty good from about here